Hi there, it's Liz from Sew for Home. You know, if you're like me, I bet you have a lot of lists. Things to do, stuff to buy, and then there's the I've ignored this for too long list, which probably includes things like oh, cleaning out the 500 bottles and jars in the refrigerator door, taking clothes to Goodwill, and replacing worn out kitchen towels and oven mitts. Well, I have an idea that might help with that last chore. We designed this gorgeous oven mitt and kitchen towel as a great gift set idea, but don't forget to put yourself on that gift list. Our goal at Sew for Home has always been to put together projects with really detailed step-by-step -step instructions anyone can have success with. Both of these pieces, the mitt and the towel, are super beginner friendly. And we've made sure there are links to other tutorials and techniques like hemming, fussy cutting, seam finishing. But of course, one of the other secrets to our success is the amazing Janome machines that we use. Thanks, Janome America. You know, Janome machines, they're always intuitive. They have they have the strength and the precision to tackle any job. And you'll get to see in this particular set of projects how we switched presser feet, we sometimes adjusted the stitch settings and varied the seam allowance widths. We went from quilting multiple layers of fabric and batting on the oven mitt to creating a flawless hem, little narrow hem, on a single layer of linen for the towel. The combination of this homespun linen blend with a gorgeous quilting cotton, it really works so well. Now, the linen that we used is from Robert Kaufman and this stunning cotton is from the Our Fair Home Collection by Anna Maria Horner for Free Spirit Fabric. Now, you have plenty of real estate on the front of the mitt, the back is the linen, as well as on this nice wide border on the towel. And take advantage of that so that you can center a really bold motif. It's also a great way to match up the two pieces of the set. The free downloadable pattern and all of our steps are gonna show you how to create a single right-handed oven mitt. Now, if you want a left-handed mitt instead of or in addition to, it's really simple. All you need to do is work with the paper pattern facing right side down throughout all of the cutting steps for that left-handed mitt. And another cutting tip for the mitt, initially, Follow the cut line of the pattern along the top and the sides and the bottom, but across this thumb area right here, we're gonna recommend that you do kind of a rounded off or a blunt cut, kind of a wild cut. Do not cut down into the curve of the thumb. We're gonna show you how to recut this section after the quilting is complete. And this allows for a perfectly matched cut within that narrow section of the curve through all three layers at once. So just kind of running through things super quickly, you're gonna layer the front and the back, you're gonna stitch, you're gonna finish that inside perimeter seam with your favorite method, turn it right side out, and then slip on the little cuff binding like a little hat just to finish. Now that is a perfect opportunity to use your machine's free arm. And we keep it extra easy by using a little mini zigzag to stitch the cuff in place. We used a single layer of thermal batting against the front and the back of the oven mitt. You could certainly add another layer. Just remember that you might need to adjust the size of the cuff binding loop if you do add more thickness. Let's take a quick look at the towel, which is created with a single layer for the main panel, and then that is wrapped in a double layer of quilting cotton, plus there's this cute little flange that matches the cuff on the mitt, also the little hanging loop on the mitt. Now we're gonna show you how to stitch it all together with no raw edges or exposed seams. It's gonna look lovely front to back. And we also are gonna show you how to make this pretty narrow hem 
with its lovely little diagonal point corners. This is a technique that you can use on so many projects and it's really easy once you know how to fold it all together. So wrap up a gift set for your friends and family. Adding in some kitchen tools or a favorite family recipe always makes it an even extra special bundle. But don't forget to whip up a couple new sets for yourself because then you get to cross something off the list. You'll find the project and the pattern free at Sew for Home. Thanks again to our sponsorship from Genomi America. Thanks for listening and happy sewing.